What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another Money of Toys video. Today, we're back with a brand new edition of WWE Action Figure Surgery, man. Big day ahead of surgery. Very excited for today's episode because we have a lot of good stuff going on, man, and I can't wait to get into it with you. Of course, we're going to be customizing all these figures, getting them ready to go. I want to say this is episode 93. I always forget, but we are slowly approaching episode 100, but these are some fix-ups that I've been really excited to do, and I've been gathering the parts up for, and I think it's going to be an epic episode to get started, man. So with that being said, let's shut the hell up, dive into what we're going to do on surgery, and then of course we will conduct said surgery here today with the trusty hair dryer and Dr. Whitekiss. So let's go ahead and get into it, man. We always start off with the guy on the stretcher, and on the stretcher you will see it is the fan takeover, Jonathan Michaels. And this figure, I like this figure a lot, man. I really do. I think this is an epic Ultimate Edition. I know they had the epic moments, but it'd be cool to have an epic edition. I don't know. Epic seems like that should be some sort of figure line. But nonetheless, we do have this Shawn Michaels right here, man. What we're going to be doing today, man, is we're going to be cons we're going to Frankenstein effort this thing, all right? I already have two of these loose, so I figured let's go ahead and make a 2004 era Shawn Michaels. Now, credit to this, let's go to my man Cody or Steinsenberg Customs. We're going to be mixing and matching some different parts to make this 2004 version of Shawn Michaels. We're going to be combining this figure, this greatest hit Shawn over here. I do have two of these as well, so this is perfect mixtures. And I'll definitely be using this head sculpt down the line for a future fix up or custom, but we need four different Shawn Michaels figures. Now, it does make me sick that I have to use so many different parts, but every figure that you're seeing here today for Shawn Michaels, I do have multiples of besides this figure which I've never owned, and that is the Basic 100 Shawn Michaels figure right here. And all of these figures are going to be vital in contributing to our fix-up today. So just stay with me here. Just buckle the hell up. Let me center this up a little bit and get into it, man. So what we're going to be doing is we are going to use the Ultimate Edition as the base. It's going to be an Ultimate Edition 2004 Shawn Michaels, something I'd love to see Mattel try in the future. But we are going to take the lower legs and kick pads from this Greatest Hits, put it over here. The knee pads from this, put it over here. The head sculpt and arms from this over here. So it will be a white wrist tape, black kick pad, with the accurate knee pads, or close to it, these are silver hearts, or like lines or silver, compared to the white, doesn't bother me that bad. I could easily go in and hit all of the white with silver, or I could just be simple, take these knee pads and go over the silver with white, probably the the better better version to do that with, but we are going to have a collection of fodder after this, but maybe we can fix up a Shawn Mike. I don't know. I may like mix and match some parts just to make like a fantasy gear so these figures aren't just headless and armless, but that is what we're going to do today with this Shawn Michaels. Very hyped to do so, man. Should be very, very fun. And speaking of to do so, we do have the Usos. And back here, man, you guys will see we do have the MDT Tag Team Champions, and I do like these Ultimate Edition Uso figures. I really do, man. But we're constantly upgrading. We're, on, we're constantly changing them around and stuff like that and i'm gonna be real i don't like these jogger legs to be real don't like them feel like they're very stiff we know from the elite 106 very stiff legs very very annoying of course what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be taking these extra elite 106 j uso figures i do have quite a bit of this figure actually it's kind of embarrassing i want to say i have like six of these it's kind of in it's just insane but we got this for the fix-ups man shout out to the people i did deals with to acquire some of these j uso figures and i I found a couple at retail as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to be arm swapping these Usos. So both Jay and Jimmy are going to have a sleeve on in the red to match their rest of their black and red gear. I think that's going to look really sweet. And on top of that, when we do switch the arms, the this red sleeve's going here, this red sleeve's going here. The white sleeve that comes off of this J is going to go onto this Finn Balor figure over here, which is an Elite 74 fix-up that we did a long time ago. Now, right now, it does have like a really cool fantasy gear. You probably, guys have probably seen this. It's an Elite 74 fin. It's got double black sleeves, black knee pads, and Seth Rollins kick pads. Well, today we're going to be changing that. The le the right arm is going to be a white sleeve Jey Uso arm, and the left arm is going to be this double-jointed white wrist tape arm from this Elite Sami Zayn. So this fin is going to look immaculate. I do believe, and we're not just going to stop there, man. On top of these Usos right here, we're also going to be doing that Finn Balor swap, but I also have Elite 74 knee pads, and I also have some full white Jesus in heaven. Some full white kick pads and lower legs to complete the look. Now, I really do wish, I, and I do have multiple copies, but they're all on Finn Balor fix-ups already. I would love to see uh, another copy of the Elite 74 kick pads from the, the Finn Balor because on the back of the white kick pads, it has this gold and black design, and it's really clean, 
and the lower legs. I have a pair of the lower legs. I don't have the kick pads to match. Or I do. I just don't want to switch them onto this specific fix-up. I want to keep them on the fix-ups that are already on, if that makes sense. So that kind of stinks. But I still think this is going to be fire. So we're going to switch these lower legs with these lower legs. Put those knee pads on there. Put the sleeves on there. It's going to be sweet. I'm really, really excited for the Finn Balor fix-up. Of course, love Finn Balor. Absolutely. And last but not least, we have... I mean, I know we just, we're getting into some Frankenstein efforts today, which are longer fix-ups. It's not just a simple head swap. But back here, we have the Elite 107 Undertaker, and we have this boy right here, which is one of those, I don't remember the damn, they're like the little moments, I don't know what the hell they're called, but this Undertaker head sculpt is going on the Elite 107. I'm going to remove the shirt, the watch, and... We're also going to be adding these black gloves right here, man. So he is going to have the fingerless gloves with the gauntlets on there on the Elite 107 with this head sculpt shirtless. And it's going to look absolutely cream of the crop. I cannot wait to get into that with you. But with that being said, that is everything that we're doing today on surgery. And it should be a fantastic day. Again, not a ton of figures getting fixed up, but certainly more quality over the quantity and amount of figures we're doing. So let's shut the hell up and dive into it. All right, man, I really don't know what to start with. I guess we could start off with Undertaker since it's the most simple, but we do have to undress our Taker right here. So we're going to take his hat off. I'm going to take his glasses off. going to have to take his damn shirt off. I'm sorry, Undertaker. We just have to completely undress you, old man. So we're going to have to get you off here. I didn't like the way that was said. We can pop the head sculpt off. I mean, we're completely dismembering this man. Also got to take your hands off, which is good. Your watch off. Got to take your other hand off over here. I'm going to pop that off. Now, we can come over here and we can, yeah, do the shirtless tattoo. We're going to pop these gauntlets on here, right here. We're going to pop that gauntlet on there and this fisted hand. And then we're going to come up here on this side and pop this gauntlet and fisted hand in here. While I got you here, do you watch surgery for the ideas? Or do you watch it to learn how to customize? Or is that a little bit of both? Do you watch it and are like, what the hell is Dr. Whitekus getting into today? Or do you watch it and go, yeah, I'm learning something here, Bradley. Oh, dude, this is gonna look amazing. Look at that. Oh, God. This is coming together beautifully. Now, let's just pray to Jesus that this head sculpt fits onto this figure very, very nicely. So what I don't want to do is I don't want to just swap the one head sculpt. So if we're gonna be heating this thing up, we might as well load this baby up, right? So this this is a head sculpt we gotta take off. I don't believe, uh, I believe the Ultimate Edition, I think it's just the Basic 100. Wait, we don't need the Basic 100. Is this the only head sculpt we gotta heat up? I'm not wasting a segment on just heating up this head sculpt. So, uh, you know what? We'll go ahead and we will heat up the arms of the Finn Balor, maybe? I guess, you know what? This is this will be fine. I'll just remove these arms. We'll just remove these arms and the head sculpt. We'll put the head sculpt over there and then we'll, we'll have the arms for later. It'll be all good, but... Let's go ahead and hit this. All right, brother, hopefully this is enough heat right here. And again, we're going to pop the arms off of this Balor right here. Uh, the reason I picked this specific Elite 74 Finn Balor is because it seemed to have the most flush arms. So I feel like it should be the easiest to kind of put on there. We're also going to need the hand from this with the tattoo on it because we're going to put that onto our Sami Zayn. Nonetheless, that is another thing, or Sami Zayn arms, I should say, but... There is the head sculpt, and this looks pretty damn good, man. I'm excited for this. Please, God in heaven, don't be a turtleneck or a giraffe neck or anything bad. All right. We will take a look at that Taker at the end, and you guys can let me know what your thoughts are on that Undertaker, man. All right, so we got that ish out of the way. What is our next order of business? I guess we can go ahead and heat up our Finn Balor lower legs. So we have our Finn Balor lower legs here that we need to heat up with the knee pads. We have our Shawn Michaels. Need to get our Ultimate Edition in here. So our Ultimate Edition Shawn going to be heating that up. I hope to God, like, this is going to be a big task because we're dealing with a lot of lower legs right here, which r I really don't like, I, you know, sometimes, uh, but I feel confident. And usually, I mean, I'm going to be real, man, a lot of stuff, like, success in life comes from a lot of confidence, man. You got to have confidence in your abilities, man. And you know how you gain confidence? By putting in the work and doing what you're supposed to do every single day. So doing what you're supposed to do, the process of getting better, and you should be confident because you've done the work, man. But we also have to get these knee pads off. I really don't feel very confident about this one, though, after that entire speech. 
But, uh, oh my god. You know what? We're just gonna hit this for about an hour and a half, and then we'll, uh, come back here. I don't think I have to heat up any other lower level. Oh, wait, yes I do, Bradley. Don't get crazy. We do have to heat up these as well. I do not foresee this going very well. But you know what? You gotta risk it to get the biscuit, and we're gonna put these lower legs in the beam of light, and hopefully we don't lose. But yeah, I'm not seriously gonna hit this for an hour and a half, by the way. That was just me. That was making a joke. So please, God, don't burn down your house by heating up something for that long, because that's idiotic. It genuinely takes, like this, I'll probably heat it up for a couple minutes or so, but it varies, man. You gotta be very careful. It, it always varies. Nothing is concrete when it comes to this shish. All right, I guarantee this don't work. All right, Bradley, let's see what we got here. First of all, we do have to pop off these lower legs from this Shawn Michaels. Pop that off there, pop that off there. We'll leave these pegs in here. That way, if we need them at a different juncture, uh, these go on the Finn Balor, which is crazy. These gotta pop off. Got that, got that. Gotta slide this knee pad off right here. Uh, yeah, right there, grab that, slide that off. Okay, that is the left right there. And then we have the right. What a bummerific series Elite 100 was. I know it came out of left field. It came out of left field like a damn RKO out of nowhere. But yeah, I just hated that set. Anyway, I didn't hate the set. You know what I mean. Very, very underwhelming in my opinion. But nonetheless, pop off the lower leg here. Oh, I got the peg out of there. I didn't want that. The peg, the peg has to stay unless we take the one from the other Sean. We're keeping the one from the other Sean. Don't care. All right, slide that knee pad off. Put that over there. Then we're switching this up here. We're going to go ahead and remove that peg because we're switching the pegs, apparently. Switch that over there. Come back over here. Take the peg out of this Sean. Put it into this leg. Take out this peg. Put it into this over here. Then we are going to slide this knee pad on the left side. Slide that up as far as it can possibly go. Slide this on this side. Slide that up as far as it can possibly go again. Then we are going to put these knee pads and lower legs over here. Come to Finn Balor. Actually shocked that this uh, got heated up. The Finn Balor is the one that I was most worried about. But setting off the side the Seth Rollins kick pad. Taking the other one. Putting that over there. Pegs and pegs and all that stuff. Take the knee pad off. Take the other knee pad off. Where are our white pegs? They're over here. Now I gotta freaking find out what freaking knee pad is supposed to go in here. Mm, got our pegs now. And now I need to figure out the knee pad situation. Alright, if this is the right one, then surely the other is the left, correct? I mean, I don't think I had multiple pairings of these knee pads. So that'll go there and that'll go right there. And then white peg should stick through there, like that right there. And then this peg should come through this hole here. I feel like we're making pretty damn good time right now in terms of, I don't know what the hell I'm trying to say. All right, can we get these kick pads onto here, though? Oh, come on. Damn. I don't know if I'm getting that on there. It may have cooled off too much. Ah, ah. It's close. It's close enough for now. But we are going to get the. Oh, these are... These are not hot enough, Brad. I'm gonna have to reheat those. Yeah! Okay, well, we got close. All right, we're gonna reheat these kick pads. Go ahead and reheat the white ones as well. You might as well. Um, we're gonna heat all this up, but that's not where I'm gonna end it because we might as well heat up other-ish correctly. So, uh, gonna go ahead and take our ultimate Sean right here. We're gonna pop the head sculpt off, add it to our never-ending pile of Sean Michaels memorabilia. And we're going to heat these arms up. Now, you can't just pull the arms out at the shoulders, which I guess I could do, but... Nah, I'm going to heat it up like this, I think. So, that right there. I want to get this all in the beam of light, of course. That's perfect. Here's our Shawn Michaels head. I'm going to go ahead and pop this off because we can add it at the end. And it has a 5 o'clock shadow, which is better than the basic 100, of course. And I'm going to take out the entrance hands. And just put it down like this. And I think that should be good right there. And I'll get another pair of arms. And then we are going to heat up our Sami Zayn arm. So our Sami Zayn arm can go right there. Perfect. And I guess this is be this will be where we cap it. I don't know if I want to... Mm, Jesus. Okay. You know what? Let's go ahead and remove the We The One shirt from this Elite 106. And then we'll have two Elite 106s with our arms getting heat up. And then all we have to do is heat up the Ultimate Usos by themselves. And we'll have the arms 
chilling freely so we won't have this big old torso in the way if that makes sense if i'm making any sense whatsoever hopefully you guys are smelling what i'm stepping in here but all right i think this is all going to be able to get in the beam of light but we won't know until we hit it so let's go ahead and dive in and see if we can get all this ish going All right, man, hopefully this will be good enough. Now, again, for the Uso arms, we're just going to pop these arms off and not worry about it anymore until we put them onto the Usos. So we're going to put that J over there, take this J, pop that arm off, sit him over here. This arm, I think we can actually go ahead and put this onto the Finn Balor. So we're going to go here and stick this right here Ugh, like that. And then we are going to take the tattooed arm and then bam look at that right there looking clean see how flush that is that's very nice but outside of that we are going to go ahead throw sammy over there take our sean arms pop those off right there and right there put that into the fodder pile come to our ultimate edition pop off that pop off that put that into our fodder pile now we're going to come up here pop this onto the ultimate come up here pop this onto the ultimate go ahead and pop the head sculpt on there hell yes and now we shall put these lower legs onto these pegs if we can freaking get them hopefully we can get this it's very close i can see it all right and then we're coming over here and then we will take a look at this sean at the end with our undertaker very nice and we will take a look at our 2004 era sean michaels ultimate edition in a little bit on my mattel wish list for this year 2004 Shawn Michaels are just some... I'd like to see them do it as a defining moment or something. And then repaint it and put it in the top picks wave or one of those other waves. But now we're going to come over here and pop the white lower legs onto these white pegs. Days like today are the reason why I love action figure surgery, man. It's the best. It's the absolute best. When you can take multiple figures and combine them all together and make your own figure that looks like it was released by Mattel... That is epic to me. I freaking love that. That's the best thing. Holy shish, will you go on, you idiot. All right, we'll take a look at Finn Balor after we get the sleeves on there. So for our Uso figures, man, we are going to have to undress these guys because you guys know I don't like to heat up different accessories. So we're definitely, most definitely getting the MDT championships out of there. World Tag Champs, you can get them the hell out. We got to get these championships off there. Low key, maybe the best looking championships in the land. Going to take off the hat there. Going to take off the head sculpt. So I can remove all this other garb off the chain, take the, off the hat, remove their, or at least Jimmy's jacket. Used to have them both wearing jackets. Pop the arm off. And I guess really, I mean, hmm, could just heat this up, but nah, I'm not going to do that. Pop both arms off so you can remove the shirt. And then I guess we can go ahead and pop this, I guess this arm, it doesn't really matter. Pop that back in there, pop that back in there. And now all we have to do is heat up this arm. Like that. And then for Jay, same thing. Got to pop his head sculpt off. Remove his chain. Oh, Jesus in heaven. About shook the whole John Brown house. Pull that off. Slide the shirt off like so. Put the head, the chain, all this mess over here. And then we're putting the arm back in. Other arm back in. And then we're heating up this arm and this arm. And we're also heating up these arms. Like that. And I do believe this is the last thing we have to do. So once we switch this, it is going to be time to look at everything we got, man. But let's go ahead and heat these up and switch them. Again, it's more about the quality today. All right, brother, there we go. And now we are going to pop off this arm and I am going to put this arm on there. I don't want the wrist tape, I don't think, hand on there. But this hand, or this arm can now go on Finn Balor. And we will take a look at that fin here in a moment. When, of course, we take a look at everything we did here today. Then we're going to take this arm and pop it onto the ultimate. And then pop this hand out. I do want to put this hand in here for whatever reason. One thing I'm also noticing is we may have to switch the shoes at a later date. I'm not going to do it today, but we'll look at Jay in a second. And then after we pop this arm off and put this on here. But now that we have uh, put all that on there, man, we are going to... That's not the right hand, is it? 
No, it's not the right hand. Damn. There. Anyway, man. Let's go ahead and take a look at everything we did today on Action Figure Surgery. All right, man, here's everything we did today on Action Figure Surgery. Again, not a lot of stuff going on, but some really good stuff when you take a look at it, man. Let's go ahead and dive into it. We do have our Usos up front. Now, I don't know about you guys, but for some reason, my J specifically has a very, very loose shoulder, and it's this right side right here. It is very loose. Like, look at that right there, and I really, I don't know how to fix that. I, I'm gonna have to do something about that, because that is, un you can't do nothing with that shish, but at least they look fire. So they definitely look good. I like the way, I like the way these Usos turned out, man. I like the red sleeve and everything. I might go a step further and acetone off the white wrist tape around the the bottom right there i think that might complete it or you guys can let me know do you like it with that little ring or do you think it'll look better without it i personally think it would look better without it but you know we'll, we'll see about that i do i probably do need to acetone that or what have you but these look clean they look about as good as i thought and one thing i'd really like to do is get another set now just hear me out brad don't get crazy it would be fire to take some Ultimate Edition John Cena shoes, the black, put them on here, and then put black sleeves on these Usos. That would be really damn fire. Now I, uh, now you see why I bought up all the Usos, man. You can make some really cool fix-ups. So, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, now, now I must make that come true. Well, yeah. So I need to get another Ultimate Edition set of Usos, so we'll see about all of that. But the Usos look really good. I'm really proud of the ways those came out, and they, they look good. I'm, I like these. Really clean. Next up is this Ultimate Edition 2004 Sean. This is the ultimate. I mean, you know, Shadow the Hedgehog said it best. This is... Look at that right there, man. Five o'clock shadow, the white wrist tape arms, love it. This is about what I would expect it to look like. Now, they don't give him the correct kick pads because he didn't wear kick pads, man. He didn't wear kick pads like Seth Rollins and Finn Balor and AJ Styles. He wore boots with straps on it, and they just kind of print the straps on there. So if they were to give us a 2004 Shawn Michaels, they would probably give us the kick pad. That's something that I've kind of let them get away with. You know, I haven't called them out on that. I'm absolutely going to the next time I speak with them is we need a new Shawn Michaels boot mold that is accurate. We need to have sculpted flaps and make them look accurate to the boots. So hopefully, maybe they can do that one day. You know, one thing at a time, slowly but surely. But these, th this came out immaculate. This is what I want for Mattel. So hopefully, we'll get some official 2004s. But, I mean, that's probably the closest you can effing get. Next up is the Finn Balor. This is clean as hell. Look at that white sleeve. It came together exactly like I thought. I, I love it. I think it looks very, very clean. Like I said, double jointed arms, all the good stuff. This is a really good baby face version of Finn Balor here. Elite 74 fix-up. Do, again, wish I had the lower legs and kick pads from the original Elite 74, but this is still really clean, and I like the Finn Balor a whole lot. It turned out perfectly. It's so good to, to see a plan come together, you know, especially in surgery, but the last one we have is going to be the shirtless Undertaker from this era. I will say the head, I mean, I guess it doesn't look terrible, but I think I would like it to sit just a hair lower. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to trim off the head sculpt and, and drop it down just a little bit. I don't think it's egregious how it is. I think it looks fairly good, but I think if I dropped it down just maybe, I don't know, a quarter inch or something, I think it would really help it out, or maybe even a fifth of an inch, a fourth of an inch, something like that. So we'll, we'll see exactly what we come with that, but that is everything we did today, and it turned out pretty damn money, man. I love it. I think it turned out great, but that pretty much wraps it up for our WWE action figure surgery episode, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I'd love to know your thoughts on all of the fix-ups down below, and again, let me know. Do you watch them to see the fix-ups, or, or do you watch to learn how to switch stuff and do different figure swaps with your own collection? Or is it a mixture of both? You guys can let me know all the stuff down in the comment section below. Huge shout out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. Appreciate all those fellas over there, man. Thank you guys so very much for all of your support. As always, always love and appreciate all you guys. Appreciate you so very much. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later. <laughs>